If this is the first time you are submitting a school-based We Have a Referral, follow these steps to create a template and to establish the location where the referrals will be saved on your computer. You have to complete these steps only once, unless you decide to change this location, in which case you will have to follow the steps again. Access the appropriate referral from the Forms tab on your portal. Most likely, you will be choosing this one, unless you are in Trillium Lakelands. Double-click to open. The referral appears on the bottom left of your screen. Click to open. And now, right-click on the document to save as. Choose the location on your computer where you want these referrals to be saved. I chose my desktop. You have to create a new folder and name it something that you will remember. We recommend SBRS Referrals 2019-2020. Open the folder and press Save. I already have it saved, so I won't save it again. Okay. Now you go into your file explorer on the bottom and find the, find the document that you just saved. Press Ctrl and K at the same time. If you are using a Mac, it's Command K. And you get this menu. Make sure Security Enhanced is clicked off and Enable Enhanced Security is checked off. And then what we will be doing is adding folder path. Click. Now it's asking you to establish that location that you just saved. We see our folder right here. We click it and OK. And as you can see, the path has been created. Press OK. Now going forward, all referrals will be saved into that same location. You are now ready to begin submitting referrals to CTN. So when you are ready to make a referral, this is your template for all future referrals. If you are ready to submit a referral now, double click on this form and you would begin submitting the referral. As you can see, all the windows are red to indicate that they need to be filled out. And then to submit. I have started one already to show. As you can see, when you fill out the referral correctly, the boxes turn green to indicate that they have been completed. Fill in the information with as much detail as possible. This allows us to make a better determination of the child's need. Make sure you indicate anything that's important for the, for the child's school day. If you need to stop making, stop and save to continue at a different time, you are able to press the Save As button. Go into File, Save As. Choose it in the same folder as BRS Referrals. And just name it something that you will remember. And press Save. Yes. Then you can come back another time and resume working on it. Once you are completely ready to submit, um, and you've listed all the child's concerns that you want to include, you will press this button, Save. This will lock the referral, and you will not be able to edit it anymore. I'm ready to submit, so I'm going to press Save. This pops up. The referral will be renamed, and it will be locked. Press OK.
this. Okay. As you can see, the referral has been renamed and saved into the folder. This referral is what you will be submitting to CTN, not the one that you saved while you were working on it. This referral is now ready to be submitted. For a step-by-step -step tutorial on submitting a referral, please see the next video, Submitting a SBS Referral to CTN.